blue. Can't say it correctly. Um, morality, morality, more morality is basically amount of solute, solutes versus the solution, um, or basically solute plus solvents. Which, if you look at the definitions over here, it shows clearly over here somewhere about it here. So I can give a question about salt, NaCl, if I remember correctly, salt is NaCl, um, and then see how much it dissolves, and that is a solvent, <laughs> so, uh, it's a morality or something. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to do, I, I was doing this and I didn't finish it off. Yeah, that's a, that's a coding thing. Yeah. I, yeah, mm, interesting, yeah. So there's a certain point that I have to write about this, right? Yeah. To be fair, uh, there used to be a huge English section. Yeah. Um, but I got rid of it and then left left it only with um, left it with only Gurudaro, my high school te English teacher, because my high school English teacher was a hundred times superior than any college. Uh, a college uh, professor I have ever met. I'm not kidding. The, for some reason, I felt like uh, I learned more from my high school, um, you know, than my um, college teacher, college professors. I wouldn't even say they're professors in my opinion, but this is STEM program, so uh, they don't care about the English at all here. But yeah, so that's why I used to have a huge segment of different um, over here. I used to have a little huge amount of prompt everywhere, the big amount of prompts, but I deleted them all because um, they were not very good. <laughs> the prompts were not good. It didn't feel right, didn't they? And yeah, it was a mess. And it turns out... I reread some of those essays and it felt like I was being antagonistic, let's just say. Felt like I was being bashing on a certain thing, which which I don't think it's good writing. So I deleted them all because they don't feel like good writing. And plus, um, in high school, I read good books, like, you know, classics. But in um, in the, College, I only read articles and bullshit uh, articles for my um, articles, which, you know, I guess part of the blame is me uh, choosing um, Seven College, which has notoriously known for the worst English. Um, the most bullshit is the English um, classes. But yeah, I didn't know at the time. So I chose, I mean, I should, I probably should have known. Uh, yeah. It's notorious for that. I mean, everyone agrees with it. It's not. It's not. It's not something that's, uh, you know, uh, everyone knows it. So I don't feel bad for shouting about it. So I'm trying to figure out what was I about to do. Yeah, I was about to do morality, right? Uh, yeah, and also some of these topics I write about in college. I feel like if you're gonna complain about it, just, you know, act on it. <laughs> I mean, sorry, but. It feels like, um, um, you know, I don't know. Some people are just running away from the you know, big issue or something, you know. I don't know. Well, that's my opinion. Anyways, I'm going to type some things out because it feels like uh, this next part, we probably can type it out and be fine with it. So let's just say that there is NACL, NACL. A have 10, 10 kilograms of NAC, NACL, which is salt, um, which we can, and we always change that to um, a thousand grams because that is how. It's a it's a hundred thousand, so it's about that. So it's a ten thousand. Um, we 
uh, we then dissolve it it in H2O, which is water, but uh, you should probably already know what H2 is, because at this point, if you don't know it, then something's wrong with you. H2O, but I, I will still write it out here, but just to say, you know, you should know what H2O is. It's uh, something that is common. Um, it's embarrassing if you don't know it, actually, but, you know, you can't say anything about it more than that. So, okay, so next thing is um, I need to figure out the NaCl solution, mole uh, per, moles per, no, grams per mole, which is done by going back to the periodic table, which I seriously need to safeguard. Um, so it is Cl, which is 35, and then plus Na, which is 23. Uh, you round up because um, 22.99 is, uh, it goes up, which means there's more 33, gra uh, 33 grams per or more atoms than, um, than 32. So basically, uh, you, you, I recommend you use 35 for this one and you use um, 30, 23 for this one. 35 plus 23 equals 78. 78, right? Uh, 78, which is how you complete the whole thing. So it is 78 grams. Um, so uh, then you would do uh, insert division. Oh, I never used that one before. That's the first. No, I used that before. No, uh, divide the S. Uh, so I have 10,000 grams here, uh, 10,000 divided by 78. And then I should explain that 78, uh, 78 comes from Na being, what was it again, 23 grams per mole and uh, uh, CL, uh, let me change it to from, comes from uh, NA, CL from 35 or something, right? Right, I don't know, 35 grams per mole. Uh, in. Now looking at that, I have to say that looks ugly, so we're going to change this over here to make this uniform and then you can just new equation and uh, CL comes 25 uh, look at the periodic table of content and then so and therefore, and I'm going to use a shortcut for therefore, I hate writing uh, not the shortcut one. And so, yeah, so there's a few times I like to use therefore, and then I like to use a shortcut for therefore, I like to use a shortcut for number by doing this, you'll see that a lot. I sometimes literally just go, I mean, I might even go over some things and just write not when I see numbers I wrote I change it over to that number. So if I go like this and say number, which is highlighting a lot of things, I might go and say eh, I don't I don't any I don't like this any number I changed it. Um, that's the definition of the set. Uh, but, uh, um, numbers actually, numbers fits, fits the condition of the set. So, um, numbers that fits, I'm gonna delete that. If you say D minus, uh, and then equals that, what does that mean? Well, uh, wait, how do you even solve that? Oh, if you have D as a negative number. This will be a positive over here, so it will be fine. So you have to just choose uh, 
uh, this equation would be, the answer would be x um, within um, um, parentheses, uh, out parentheses, which basically is not included, um, uh, 0 to negative infinity would be the answer for D. And then x can be anything. x would be uh, all real numbers, so it's r. So that would be the answer for this question. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then, and then that's, that's what I do sometimes. I just go around and delete stuff, choose a number, and test it out. Because, you know, I, I just like doing it. Uh, there's the, um, the, the first section, I leave it um, at numbers because, you know, it's easier to read. But thinking about it, I should also change this to numbers. Because I explained it already. There's no need for me to keep this complex numbers. Yeah, there's no reason for me to hold back on there. I mean, um, and then, you know, sometimes yeah, not, uh, well, um, E can be a natural number, natural number 2.17. Yeah, I like to shortcut things, so. Uh, what's this one? Where's the highlighted portion? Ah, uh, I, I had to leave it like that. But yeah, um, even numbers, like this one I can totally change it to that and be fine with it. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. I like to do that sometimes. It makes it more, in my opinion, way more cleaner. But yeah, you have to go around and find them. And also, maybe you have space a little bit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do for all of them, but when I see it, when I feel bored, I will do so. If for some reason, numbers like 11, 12, numbers like. Okay, oh yeah. yeah you see? Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. It's not it's not bad. I, I'm not gonna do it for all of them. It looks like there's a lot of them that I left it as that. But yeah, I like to do that. I like to change it to that format because it's just cleaner sometimes. Oh, I just saw something there. Exact number. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm very lazy. I, I, my major is an engineering thing, so you know, you, you gotta know that. So, I like to be efficient. Sorry, it's not lazy, it's being efficient. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let's continue doing this. So, anyway, I believe morality is defined by a big M. If I'm not correct. Uh, actually, is it big M or is it big C? I don't actually remember. Um, I think it's either C or L. I don't remember. I think it might be C. It might be C. It's defined by C or something. I don't remember. It, it's a, it's a but C is also light, so I don't really remember it. Anyways, um, what you have to do is, oh, there, oh, this is not C. This is, um, what are we looking for here? We're looking for N, the amount of moles here. So um, get your calculator out uh, and then write uh, whoa, something is in my mail. Uh, Pearson plus, what is this? Oh, it's asking me to buy another textbook. Shit. Um, great. I hate buying textbooks. I'm just going to ignore that text for the rest of the year and not buy a textbook and pretend I have that textbook. If you don't know in college, a lot of times I don't, you don't, I mean, you kind of need to buy the textbook, but 
sometimes you can be sleepy. Um, that's moles, right? It doesn't seem like it is. Yes, N is moles, I believe. Then we can. Um, I, I, what base does it dissolve on, actually? Um, okay. Um, I need to dissolve it in some liquid. Let's just say, and it is dissolved in. Oh, then um, range dissolve in one thousand kilograms of water, which is uh not kilograms. You have to change it to me here, so liters of water. And because we are in SI units, you have to convert to liters, which is already done for me because I chose it. Uh, then morality is the equation divided by uh, 1333 moles divided by 1000 liters, which equals, I don't know what it equals, but it must be something big. Oh, 1.33 actually. 1.33. I don't even know the units. I believe you just have to find it. So it's more uh, moles uh, times liters square under one. Yeah, it should be that. Um, 